everyone my name is santosh kumaran and today i am going to be teaching you how to make a simple calculator using html and javascript for this project i am using visual studio code but you can use any other text editor like atom or sublime text according to your preference so let's make a new folder my calc and let's add two files index.html and script.javascript and also I recommend that before you watch the video you have a basic understanding of HTML and JavaScript so let's start with our doc type tag which defines the type of the document which is in this case HTML then there's the HTML element in which we'll have all uh, our main content of the website. There, let's create a head and body element. Inside the head, we're going to make a meta element. Sorry. So, we're going to define the character set. We're going to be using UTF-8 character set. And the title will be a simple calculator. A simple calculator. And we're also going to link our script.js file, which we shall do using the script tag. Script. And we're going to pass an attribute, uh, source, script.js. Now inside our body, we will make the header one tag. And that will also be a simple calculator. So let's stop for a moment and preview our document. So this is how it looks like. As you can see, the H1 element is displayed on the web page, a simple calculator. Also the title in the tab. So we're going to make a form. A form allows you to define input and label elements. So the user, he has to be presented with two input elements which asks numbers and also a drop down containing different operations and a result which will which will be displayed as a label and a button which will calculate the result so let's make an input actually uh, uh. so the type of this input will be number and the ID of this input will be number one. The name will also be number one. And we have to make this required. So as you can see, an input box is displayed on the web page. And let's add a placeholder to make it clear to the user. The placeholder will be first number. So as you can see, the placeholder is here. So let's make another input. Actually, before that, let's make a drop down. Select, which we'll be using, which we'll be doing with the select tag. So the name of the select tag will be operation the ID will also be operation and we will have five options option times five so a first option will be addition of course and addition will be displayed subtraction subtraction and for multiplication I'm going to use a special symbol
also for the vision. And our last operation is mod, which I'll explain in detail later. Okay. So as you can see, a drop down is okay. Let, let I forgot uh, to display some elements. Ah. So a drop down is displayed on our web page containing five options of operations. So now we need our second input now number actually why don't I just uh, copy and paste so the ID will be number two name will be number two placeholder is second number second number so the second input this is displayed on the web page. Now we need a button which upon clicking performs a function. So another input. The type of this input will be button and the ID will be equals. The name will be all will also be equals and the value will be the equal sign and oh did I make ah, okay I made this required so type is button id equals name is also equals the value is equal sign and on upon clicking it we, we're going to have to call a function let's call that function calculate function ends with parentheses so on when the user clicks it when the user clicks the button a function calculate will be performed so when I'm clicking it of course nothing is happening because we haven't yet defined the calculate function we're going to define that in our JavaScript file calculate oh sorry uh, you have to use the keyword function and calculate so what we want the function to do will be inside these curly brackets so we have to create some variables using the var keyword our first variable will be the f input first input of the user the first number that the user inputs which we call number one and I'm going to assign it with the equals with this equal sign and I'm going to assign it to document dot get element by ID so what is this well document refers to an index dot HTML document and get element by ID is self-explanatory when we specify the ID it gets that element so we want that element to be our first input number so the ID of that oh, so the ID of that is number one number in uh, quotation marks number one and another variable this time it's number two so we have defi defined it as number two yes so one an another thing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass float this entire thing okay why am I applying the pass float function it's because the in JavaScript 
the input is registered as a string value, a text value, even though we have defined it to be a number. So we have to convert it into a float, or, or, which is basically a number with a decimal part. Okay, so we have to make yet another variable which we'll call operation and that will be the value whatever the user selects from the drop down so document dot get element by id and the id is operation yes it's operation so operation dot one important thing I forgot we need the value so the variable is going to be equal to the value that is specified by the user so value dot value okay we've done we're done defining our variables now we can move on to some if statements so if if the event happens, which is described in the these parentheses, then this task is to be performed. Uh, that task is defined in the curly brackets. So if the operation, if operation is e equals equals equals, plus so why have I used three equals three equals tests for equality while only one equal sign is it means assignment so two equal signs can also test equality but three equal signs are more reliable so if the operate if operation is equal to if operation and plus so if operation equals 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 plus then document dot get element by id and i forgot to do something we have to make a new input which is not really an input but it, it acts as a label type is number id is equal to result name is also result And the placeholder will also be result. Okay. So, as you can see, result input is displayed. So, document dot get element by id result. We're going to change the value of that. The value will be. It will be the addition of the first and second number so we're going to say number one plus number two number two so just copy and paste this five times minus minus and we're going to have to use our special symbols and but javascript only recognizes the asterisk for multiplication and for division we need this and a slash and for mod the percentage sign the percentage symbol okay so actually I made an initial error the pass float um, brackets I put over here so now it's here and let's test the calculator so 5 plus 6 is equal to 
11. 5 minus 6 is equal to minus 1. 5 times 6 is 30. Let's use 40 divided by 2 is 20. And now for the mod. The mod is the remainder in the result of a division. So if there is no remainder or the remainder is 0, uh, then the mod, the result of the mod will also be 0. However, so it's, it's not subtraction, it's the mod. If this was 5, the mod 2, then the mod will be 1. So I hope you were able to understand this project and thank you for watching this video.